well 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 praise the lord yeah my um <clears throat> i was uh <laughs> i was telling someone i lost my voice and they said they found it um <laughs> and uh <laughs> now nah, or you know it's just a temporary thing <clears throat> see we we know for sure about who we are and uh, our healing and walking in health so this is important um, this is <laughs> the week where we talk about healing and this is a great opportunity <laughs> hallelujah so today I want to bring up um, something that I I did hear um, you know among us and we talk about that and it's in the word as far as our bodies <clears throat> um, just to clarify the flesh has to be crucified the flesh yes it's using the members of the body and when the flesh is crucified then the members of the body are used by righteousness but the body is not necessarily uh, good or bad it's it's an amazing creation um, when the soul <laughs> separates from the body the body is as it is it stays there <clears throat> so uh, beating your body not to sin it's uh, not the right thing <laughs> beating your hand because it steals that's not the right hand the right thing that's the same hand that uh, can hug someone right it's it's the command that comes that makes the hand do that <clears throat> so very important to know in uh, the greek language the word uh, sarx is the flesh and the word soma it's the body so they're two different words very important to understand how we deal with that so we know that the resurrection of christ the power of his resurrection is changing our soul it's kicking out the old inhabitants and it's filling us with the spirit of life a new law the law of life it's destroying it's replacing the law of sin and death in our soul now the same power it's continuing to work in our bodies we are not just uh, you know spirit soul and uh, whatever happens to the body doesn't matter no we are spirit soul body that's the new creation and yes we know our bodies will receive the glorification but what's happening now to our body as our soul is changed remember in third john the word of god says that your health will prosper as your soul prospers that's the law of the spirit of life your body prospers in health <clears throat> in second timothy 110 we mentioned this before i really love this verse um, this has now been revealed by the appearing of our soul savior jesus christ who has abolished death has abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel we we touched on this in the last few sessions <clears throat> first corinthians 15 and this is what it talks about what's happening to our mortal bodies for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on 
immortality. See, the, the nature of our body expires, so it's, um, that's why it's mortal, because the nature is of death. It has an expiration date. That's just the bodies. It doesn't mean that you have to live in sickness and pain and problems in the body. It doesn't mean that. Because when the change happens from me inside out, it affects your whole being. So when this corruptible has put an incorruption, and this mortal has put an immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. <laughs> Death is swallowed up in victory. When that will happen? But we learn this principle, the only way you can talk about the truth that's outside time and space. It always been true in truth. Is it was, it is, and it's to come. That's why it talks about our Lord. It it was, it is, and it's coming. So that is swallowed up in victory. It happened, it was when Jesus defeated death through resurrection. It is happening now. It is the same truth. It's happening now as the mortal bodies receive life. And it will happen when the glorified bodies come in. You understand. I know you can see that. It's such a great secret that the Lord gave me. <clears throat> Colossians 2. Um, again, I keep coming back to this verse because I see a secret in our battle to stay in victory or our rest to stay in victory. Labor to enter rest, right? <clears throat> Colossians 2.10 You are in Him, having been completely faithful with the present result that you are in a state of fullness. In Him, who is the head of every principality and authority, in whom you are circumcised by a circumcision not affected by hand, in the putting away, putting off and away from yourself the body of of flesh <clears throat> in the circumcision of Christ and it describes what means this circumcision having been entombed with him in placing into Christ by the Holy Spirit in which act of placing into Christ you were also raised with him through your faith in the effectual working energy of God who raised him out from among the dead. The death, the burial, and the resurrection. That's a circumcision. These are the signs of circumcision of the heart. <clears throat> and then he says that he's having stripped off and away from himself the principalities, and authorities, he boldly made them an example of them, leading them in a triumphal procession in it. Um, I'm going to bring another verse. Now, just go with me. This is so essential, so important to understand. Romans 8, 10. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. That doesn't mean in existence. It doesn't mean you cannot move. It means has that temporary nature. 
and somehow it doesn't have connection with the eternal life, the Zoe life of God. That means it's that because of sin. Sin is separation. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, and it does dwell in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. I'm submitting to you right now that he is not talking about that moment of rapture, the moment of getting the glorified bodies because it says that the Spirit dwells in you and will also give life to your mortal body. When the body is changing, glorified, it's not a mortal body anymore. So this refers to now. Now, <clears throat> He will give life to your mortal. Isn't this the way the healing of the sons, the healing of new creation is happening from inside out with a spirit that's life, with a soul that's in rest and at peace and the, the power of life from the spirit touching the body. How awesome is that? <clears throat> so, we do not have any fight for ourselves. And this is important. Yeah, we, we are not fighting to get the healing or maintain the healing. We are taken as a new creation in the realm of grace and righteousness. In that realm we are naturally healed, naturally, not, not by nature, natural health, okay? <laughs> not the natural medicine, right? But it's a, it's a divine nature. It's a divine, normal way of getting healed, walking in healing. <clears throat> so, sometimes we go after others. We pray for others. We get in places. Sometimes we are not very careful just because we want to save everyone, you know, if that's me. Um, so that's when we confront. That's where the battle um, is coming. What is, why is this very important? If you have to fight, if something are really out of rest and out of alignment in you that means that place where he says that Jesus stripped off and away from himself the principalities and authorities that means the enemy through accusation through a lie has something inside you he placed something there that's where the battle is. <clears throat> because every time the enemy has something in us, in, not in the spirit, in, in our souls, in our minds, then he's going to pull us on his level to fight him. You see that now? It, it, and, and he knows how to win some battles there. The, your salvation is in rest. Isaiah 30, 15. In rest and serenity will be your salvation. If something takes you out of that and you, f you start fighting and pushing and screaming and doing that, that means... He plays, the enemy plays something in there. So when Jesus stripped all the principality away from himself, they entered that. Now, if they 
through deception, place something inside you that is not in Christ. <laughs> that is something that an intruder and has no place in you. But that starts triggering all this unrest and battle. And this is where you have to go and really see what it is and take it out and enter the rest of God. <clears throat> what do I do when uh, I feel these problems like uh, my voice and throat and you know different other issues that are coming in our bodies? What do I do? I do a few things and I'm I'm suggesting this, I'm speaking this to you. One is I verify the foundation. Sickness does not belong to me. It's been taken by Jesus. That's not my headache. It's not my headache. <laughs> I made it very clear. That's foundational for the way I live. There is no trace of fear of death. As in the light, like with the flashlight of the Spirit, I'm watching my soul. I'm oversight over my soul. I cannot find any fear of that. What if? What if? They have no place in my soul. So that's one thing. The second thing I do, I print tongues. And I stay in the Spirit. It's almost like I'm not going down where the problem is. See, sometimes we are drawn into the place of the problem <clears throat> to fight it. I remember the book of Nehemiah, a very interesting book, if you have time, read it. So, uh, the enemies that wanted to stop the building of the wall um, asked Nehemiah to come and talk to them. Come on, let's have fellowship, let's talk about See, we heard the king said this, and that person said this, and let's talk, and maybe we can build a nice alliance. <laughs> yeah. You know what Nehemiah answered? I have a great work to do and have no time to descend to you. Remember this. I have something so powerful, amazing, a, a life from my Lord. I have no time to descend, <laughs> to go in the valley, to fight with that. I'm staying in the Spirit. Hallelujah. <laughs> <clears throat> the same time I'm open to the leading of the Spirit. Because I know everything he turns it into something amazing because I'm in love with him. I love him. I love him. I seek him in everything that's happening to my life. Yeah. So I'm seeking him. There's no copy and paste. He's not going to deal with this as he dealt two years ago. He's leading me into this victory. So I'm, I'm, I'm staying connected, ready to say. And... Uh, Hmm. Lastly, uh, maybe there are more things, but that's what came to mind. I'm not focusing on a symptom or on symptoms. <clears throat> on, the, on the contrary, I try to do things that I don't normally do, not in that type of situation. Therefore, right now, with the voice as it is, I picked up the microphone and the camera and I'm recording it <laughs> because um, I don't have that place of defeat. I don't have the place of giving up and finding excuses, but I am in that place where victory has already been won. And um, yeah, I, I'm blessing you with my uh, my low tone in the voice but the love of Jesus it's touching you it's healing you right now pa 
power of healing it's flowing inside you from the spirit of God. I'm speaking to you from inside out and I'm increasing the power of the spirit that's life and is blessing your mortal body. You are so blessed. Amen.